reasons we're here today, obviously, is to send a message to our politicians. And we are incredibly grateful that a lot of them do come. In fact, there aren't many demonstrations where the minister that you're actually um, demonstrating to comes along to the, the, the demonstration himself. But I think the reason is that the real, there's a realisation among all politicians from all parties that this really is the way to go. So I'd like to introduce and thank for coming the Minister for Transport, Derek Mackay. Thank you, David. I, I can assure you that I know that your message to me and to all the politicians is that every political party should do more for cycling. And I hear that message and I see the representation today that reinforces that point. Now I know there's a lot to be done and we've got a long way to go to realise the vision of more people cycling and cycling safely in Scotland. And my assurance to you as, as the new Transport Minister in the Scottish Government, I will do everything I can to support cycling over the years to come. And one of the big commitments I want to make to you today is when I come into office, I inherited in year 14-15 the record amount of funding into cycling. And I know you would say it's not enough. So my commitment for 15-16, the financial year we have now gone into, I started off the year changing the budget to put in more than the starting point last year, but that's not good enough. So my commitment is, through this financial year, the Scottish Government will spend more on cycling than we did in the record-breaking previous financial year. I will aim to do that, to get more resources through the course of the year, to put our money where our mouth is, to invest in infrastructure so that we can grow support in cycling. For all the reasons you know better than I about smarter, healthier choices, that cycling is not just seen as a sport, but a proper mode of transport to increase the amount of people cycling. So across a range of policies in planning, in investment, in our agencies, in the new franchise with rail, we do everything we can to support cycling, to have healthier lifestyles and better uh, infrastructure to support you to do that. But that's a big commitment from me today to keep increasing the amount of resources going to cycling to put our money where our mouth is. And I know the first debate I had in Parliament as the Transport Minister was around supporting active travel. And there's a great deal of consensus across the political parties uh, to do this. And so too in local government, where we have strong partnerships to make it happen at the most local level. And I do have to commend the City of Edinburgh Council for leading the way in areas like 20 mile per hour areas with, with your support we can encourage more councils across the country to do exactly the same. And I will set the conditions to make it as easy as possible for other local authorities to follow suit. So in investment, and in policies, in the planning system, and when it comes to local empowerment, I can assure you as a pro-cycling Scottish Government Minister, I will do everything I can to help you achieve the aspirations set out in the Scottish Government vision. Thank you very much for listening. Thank you very much. So I'm sure we will all make sure Derek keeps us keeps to those commitments. Um,